Yeah. And then we're doing that other thing at the end of the year where we're going to construct a recording studio on a, in a sound stage. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be like a, a show a theatre with like the audience mm -hmm. will be like 450 at a time dispersed within the studio, which we're going to construct, which will resemble Number Two Abbey Road, and then it's going to be a, we've actually auditioned to find like four represented four new Beatles, in fact, but they they've got individual you know sort of. In, there's an individuality about them. It's not like a Beatle cover band, but we're going to go from the early days of Love Me Do right through to the end of Sgt. Pepper, and the audience are going to be part of it. So that they won't actually be on stage like just singing to the audience. The lead vocalist to be in a sound, in a booth, and the harmony vocalist may be in a booth, which being the other three Beatles or whatever, because we've doubled up, doubled up on. So we've got like two Lennons and two Harrisons and two mm -hmm. McCartneys to get the double track vocal sound. And we've got the orchestra. So it'll give the audience an idea of what it was like to actually be you know, in the studio when we actually rec recorded those songs. So, so that's going to be really tricky yeah. to do too. Yeah, that yeah, keeps you busy. <laughs> and we're going to have like te the technical staff because we're going to have some microphone movement within the show mm -hmm. um, as we progress from like D19, AKGs and stuff through to different, you know, more mics on the drums. The, the technicians that will actually come onto the stage will actually sort of be mime artists who will actually sort of move the, the mics in some more theatrical way. So. It's, it, it's you know it's got its problems, but it should be pretty good, and and they might, they might do a world tour on that afterwards. On that. Yeah. So oh. 